we presented a study uh, using methods that allow us to look at the expression of genes in the breast tumor, um, genes that are associated with a higher risk of recurrence or with the risk of recurrence, uh, and also uh, genes that are associated with particular biologic subtypes. And we specifically looked at uh, uh, 100 women followed here at the Cancer Institute, self-defined as African American or black. And our main interest behind this project was to gain further insight into the biology of these cancers. What we found was that in our population, women frequently presented with uh, higher uh, risk of recurrence according to this uh, uh, molecular method and with molecular subtypes that uh, are correlated with uh, uh, biologically less favorable types of breast cancer. The test that we used is a test developed by a company named Agendia. Um, the whole test is called Symphony and uh, is composed of different uh, tests. Uh, the MAMA print, which is a 70 gene profile, uh, which in other studies or in the studies that led to this test, uh, was shown to be associated with the risk of recurrence, high or low. The blueprint, which is correlated with the uh, specific biologic subtypes of breast cancer. And also, as part of this test, we look at the expression of uh, estrogen, progesterone, and HER2 um, receptor uh, by, again, by gene expression. This research is important because we know that although the incidence of breast cancer in African American women is lower when compared to Caucasian women, uh, mortality is higher. Uh, and this is particularly true in, when you look at the younger population. And it was thought this was mainly due to disparities in health care. Although those play a huge role, uh, and uh, here under the, the leadership of Dr. Swain, our goal has been to decrease um, disparities in access to health care. And in fact, Dr. Huerta has just shown that we frequently see women presenting with uh, uh, advanced stage disease. Um, our study, which actually builds on research led and published by others, again shows that there are biologic differences according to race, which may drive a worse prognosis. So the two aspects need to be pursued if we want to make an impact in how we treat uh, these women successfully. I really wanted to acknowledge the enthusiastic participation of all the women in this clinical study. Um, African American women are chronically underrepresented in breast cancer research, um, and there cannot be progress in cancer treatment and knowledge without research.